Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys the shift pattern to drive the Mazda Rocket Bunny MX5 Miata. This is one of the best tier two cars in the game right now. So after I show you the shift pattern, we're gonna do a review on this thing and talk about it and even take it in and do a couple live races with it and see how it does. So first off, we're just gonna go into a uh we're gonna go into a uh test run all right i'm going to show you guys how to drive it so max the gamer says this car can beat tempest one tempest two and tempest three without any stage six parts so if you get this up to stage five put all your fusions into it this should be a tempest destroying car so that's a great thing for you guys it beats dino time by a lot first off all right to drive this thing you're going to want to let go of the gas right on number one to launch you want to instantly shift into second gear like the second you launch get into second okay the needle will drop down to zero rpms and a lot of people probably think that's a bad thing but on some cars including this one that's a good thing all right then you're going to do you're, you're going to do a perfect shift in the third gear and hit your nitrous all right perfect in the fourth perfect in the fifth perfect in the sixth i forget how many gears we go into but let's give this one a go three two one let go second third nitrous fourth and i did not shift into second quick enough guys all right i delayed because i was i was thinking about what i was gonna say and i screwed that one up so the next run should be even faster okay next run we're gonna get it right there we did a 9.484 Remember, tier, tier 1, 2, and 3 cars do quarter miles. Tier 4 and Tier 5 do half miles. At least 90% of the time, there are some exceptions for some races. All right, let's give that a go again. This time, we're going to smear the dyno. 3, 2, 1, go. Second, third nitrous, fourth, fifth, sixth. And that's exactly how you want to drive this car right there the first time i didn't quite get it right this time i did so this is a tempest beating car this car should blow through tempest no problem i i've actually got down to 9.38 something a couple times this one ran a 9.428 i've got 9.382 or something like that a few times we got a dyno of 9.485 so this is beating dyno by a nice amount now one thing once you get this car to stage five you can just automatically dump your tires down to 8 PSI. I should say stage 5 with a lot of fusion parts, okay? If you don't have very many, very many fusion parts in this, this probably isn't going to work. But the first thing you want to tune on this car is your tires. Pull your tires down until you get uh, the, the most amount of EVO points, all right? The little points right up here, all right? Once you see those go up to the highest point... Stop with the tires, then move to your final drive. Move it move it a little bit to the right until those get as high as possible. And then you're going to actually want to move your nitrous over to the left and get those numbers as high as possible. That makes this car run really good. You might even be able to beat dyno time by more if you were to move your nitrous over to the right a little bit. But the car might actually might may or may not run a little slower. I'm not 100% sure, but... You know what, let's go ahead and give that a try. Let's move the nitrous all the way up, do a test run. Now we're losing a bunch of Evo points and the dyno time is going to read slower, but sometimes this will make a car beat dyno by more. But yeah, Max the Gamer says this car will beat Tempest 1, 2, and 3 with only stage 5 parts and all the fusions, okay? I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Max, but he's, he's got a channel that really seems to focus on like tuning for Tempest races and stuff like that. That guy really knows what he's doing when he's talking about tuning. So he's great for Tempest things. So I'm pretty sure he's correct. You know, he probably, um, he knows what he's talking about. So this is going to be a great live racing car, great all around car, dino beating car, Tempest car. All right. Only thing that sucks is Mazda parts are pretty rare. So if you got bronze keys, you might want to use your bronze keys when the Mazda parts come out. All right, so let's go ahead and do this again. Let's see if we run faster or slower with the nitrous all the way up. Three, two, one, go. Second, third nitrous, fourth, fifth, sixth. 
for some reason my car felt way slower so this might actually not not might not be good on this car but we're gonna find out nope no good no good okay we're gonna put the nitrous back to where it was a minute ago so there we are now maybe you can boost it up a little bit and that would help but on this car it's kind of weird that you turn the nitrous down but that what that's what works on this car so anyways if you guys don't know how to tune a car make sure you go to my tuning playlist i cannot emphasize enough that you cannot just copy somebody else's tune unless your parts match theirs exactly some cars do have some exceptions like once you get to stage five you get a bunch of fusion you can just go ahead and pull the tires on this car down to 8 psi and that's going to work for this car but most cars you, you really just can't do that okay so let's go try and live race this guy right now let's see how it does for live racing first i'll open the doors i, I got some choppy lag going on here which is a little weird let you guys get a good look of you know what's what this car looks like here someone asked me to do this for reviews a couple of days here i'm going to do a review on the uh, c10 tiffany which is a super sweet car all right very cool car right here too but yeah we're going to do the c10 tiffany review here in a couple of days so let's take this into live racing i guess i'll pause it until i get into a match to save time all right so it looks like we've got a race this is a very hard car to beat so let's see what happens all right, we're going to take this guy on, and we are going to try and win this race. We are going to try and win this race, all right? Three, two, one, go. Shift. Third and nitrous. Fourth, fifth, sixth. Come on, come on, little guy. Yes, I got him. And, I mean, this is such a nice dino-beating car. This is such a nice dino-beating car. There we ran a 9.483, not too bad, not too bad. I always, you always run a little bit slower in live racing, I found. You got the launch button to deal with and all that kind of stuff. So let's go pause it until we find somebody else. All right, so we're going to race this Mini Cooper right here and see if we can beat this guy. This, is, this John Works Mini Cooper is, I think, the fastest car that's not Legends in Tier 2. So here we go. And are we going to launch or what? I think we might have a problem. I think we might have a problem here. All right, let's see what happens. Are we stuck on the are we stuck on the starting line or what's going on? Hmm. 3 2 1 go. Second. Third and nitrous and I did not shift in the second gear fast enough. I delayed and I waited so this car is actually going to run slower than it should. I still beat the guy, so that's a good thing. But this is a nice dino beating car. It should win the majority of the live races, I think. All right, so there we go. Two, we're running 9.4s. He's running 9.6s. I think our dino time is what, around 9.6? Let's go back and find out. All right, there's hardly anybody in this live racing lobby, so. I mean, that's all. That's, that's it. Well, someone else just challenged me. Let's go ahead and do one more race before we go back and look at the dyno. I forget what it was. I just want to see if it's similar to what the people in these live racing lobbies are doing. Three, two, one, go. Shift. Second, third and nitrous. Fourth, fifth, and sixth. I kind of got a bad start on this one. And cool, I pulled ahead. I got it. So this is definitely a really, really good car for pretty much everything. You know, if you can get this car, if you need a good tier two car, you might want to try and get this one. Okay, normally I say, hey, if you don't need a car, you know, save your keys, don't waste your keys, don't pull the car. But even if you're low on keys, man, if you can get this one, you probably should because this is an excellent, excellent car for pretty much everything from what I can tell. All right, let's go ahead and race this guy real quick. We'll do a few more live races. One more, one more live race with this. Three, two, one, go. Second, third and nitrous. Fourth, fifth, sixth. All right, that was a really good run right there. 
All right, nobody's gonna nobody's gonna beat this car. I believe there might be a few cars out there that can beat it, but for the most part, I got a 9.448. That was a good run. And if you'll notice, it's over 1,253 Evo points right now, so it's making over a thousand respect points for a three-star tier two car. That is amazing. Okay, you're not gonna find very many tier two cars that can get over a thousand. I mean, this only has. I mean, that's. You can do this on stage five, okay? Stage five, you got over a thousand Evo points. This thing's a beast, okay? This car is a beast. So let's go ahead back to our garage. All right, so I just looked at the dyno time, and those cars in there were actually running slower than this car's dyno, which is surprising. But anyways, very, very cool car. I mean, this should be good for pretty much everything. I think this is going to replace the Porsche Boxster as one of the better cars. Unfortunately, though, this may be hard to get once once the Prestige Cup is done. It's probably going to be hard to get this thing because, you know, you're going to have to be lucky enough to pull this thing out of a crate. So if you've got the keys, please try and get this. If you need only if you need a good tier two car for beating Tempest. OK, if you don't need something to beat Tempest, I would still say probably don't do it. Like, we got a supply cup today. Make sure you race the supply cup because that's going to give out Mazda parts. I'm telling you guys, Mazda parts are super rare. That's the other thing, though. You want to make sure you've got enough bronze keys to get some Mazda parts. Being a Tier 2 car, this doesn't really take a whole lot of parts, though, okay? It took mostly greens, and I think there was, like, one or two blues, one or two, one or two pinks. Now, the Stage 6 parts make, might take a little more than that, but... You guys get the idea. Okay, we've already collected this one. Don't need to race that. So yeah, I think that pretty much I think that pretty much wraps this video up. I think this gives you guys a really good idea on this car and uh I guess I will catch you guys later. All right? Thanks for watching. See ya.